Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Monday's Market Outlook at Top Gun Options. Matthew Buckley, my call sign is Wiz. And not a, not a bad month to date. My personal account up about uh, 7,100 uh, bucks. We just got done solo Amazon. Really didn't have an Amazon trade, but uh, I just sent out an S&P 500 bull put spread. I sold the 42.50, 42.45 uh, for dollar uh, 45. When did I do that? Right about, that was 11.10. Take a look at when I uh, did this trade. And obviously I gave this to the uh, Max Afterburner Lifetime folks and also the Hunters. But look at that, right there is 11.10. And look what happens as we put that trade on. Eh, coming back a little bit. But that trade potentially makes, by close the business today, let's go take a look at it. Analyze it. There's an 81% probability of making 2200 bucks today in one day. That's one day trade risking 5300 bucks. So really a good looking trade. 83% probability of at least uh, breaking even. Why did I, uh, after solo Amazon, say, uh, you know what, I'm going to step in here and be bullish? Well, guess what? Ukraine is saying, you know what? We might be open to some non-NATO models. Russia shot across the bow, not physically, but I guess physically, said, hey, uh, change your constitution to no NATO, uh, recognize that we own Crimea, and then the uh, other two independent regions are independent regions. Uh, and Ukraine's kind of open to a little bit of stuff. So uh, like I briefed this morning, uh, if we get, not if, when we get some sort of peace agreement, it will be a rip your face off re uh, relief rally. Now we're not out of the woods, obviously, and uh, Vlad's still Vlad, inflation's still raging, uh, Jerome's still raising interest rates, but if we can end killing, man, that's going to be uh, somewhat uh, bullish. So take a look at that uh, bull put spread uh, for today. Another reason why you want to be in the uh, Max Afterburner group, uh, our lifetime group, which has 150 folks, and then over here, uh, the Hunters, uh, I think we have about a, a, a 100 total now, but uh, that just shows how many people are logged in at that moment. So two really big self-directed investment squadrons we have here at Topkin Options and doing really, uh, really good work. And a lot of people sharing their trades, their volatility trades and, and their intel. Looks like Sledge is jumping in with a bull put spread uh, as well. Got some Bank of America going on, uh, some Tesla. Good, good trading. Really, uh, really uh, excited with what's uh, going on. Uh, quickly, um, my Max Afterburner podcast which is in the top 3% in the world. Now, of course, when I found out that metric, I had to immediately Google how many podcasts there are in the world, 2.7 million. So if we're in the top 3% of all the podcasts in the world, that's pretty cool, man. Um, so uh, the, the podcast that just dropped, episode 21, you can listen to it on Apple Podcast, uh, Stitcher, uh, iHeart, Spotify, me and Joe Rogan on Spotify. Uh, I talk about how it's just amazing to me how in just a short period of time, all the expert virologists in this country have become military geniuses, essentially uh, overnight, especially uh, no-fly zone experts. Um just kind of cracks me up, but uh, I talked about on my podcast how why don't we take dictators like literally and seriously? I saw this after I did my podcast, I swear. Um, actually came out, yeah, hours after my podcast. So apparently these guys listened to me doing my podcast live because I said this. How come we didn't – we don't listen to their words like Iran, who Joe Biden is going to fumble all over himself to get a, quote, nuke deal? Israel, uh, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Iran has said when, not if, when we get a nuclear weapon, we're going to wipe Israel off the face of the map. Democrats, oh, you, no, you wouldn't. What? Vladimir Putin for the past 10 years. I'm going to bring back the Soviet Union, and the first country we're going to take back is Ukraine. Oh, no, you won't. Why don't we start listening to these people instead of being stupid? That's just kind of my advice to the political class who clearly don't listen to guys like me. Uh, but obviously the market imploded, oil through the roof. Oil, I think I saw it as high as 140 or something like that, 2008. The last time oil was this high, I was in the Chicago Board of Trade, 2008, man. I think it was July of 2008. Uh, we were talking 150. I told you this a couple weeks ago, guys. I said uh, 150 a barrel oil is absolutely within striking range and realistic. Hmm. But, of course, the uh, Germans, just a bunch of cowards. Oil slides after Germany opposes push to block Russian oil and gas imports. Donald Trump was right. Love or hate the guy? I saw Donald Trump yesterday. Actually went to an event up at Mar-a-Lago, uh, and 45 came out. Uh, and uh, kind of a weird dude, to be honest with you. But anyway, uh, 
strange, strange ranger, but he was right. Let me get this straight, fellow NATO member, Germany. You're a deadbeat. Um, you don't pay what is owed. You're not spending what you're supposed to spend. And you want us to protect you from who you say is your enemy, but you get all your energy from. Huh. Does that make sense to anybody? And I love Democrats and liberals at the time. He's weakening NATO. He's weakening the, weakening the alliance. If asking your fellow alliance members to live up to the alliance agreements is weakening it, it's a shitty alliance. Cracks me up. He's weakening it. Yeah, okay. So anyway, uh, cowards. Still going to just – so they're going to send weapons to Ukraine to kill Russians but take oil from Russians. They're financing – the war, as is the United States, right? Peppermint Patty, Pisaki, and Joe Biden, and at least Nancy Flyscotch Pelosi had it right last week. Ban all Russian oil imports. Are we? Nope. We're going to ask Iran and Venezuela for gas, for oil. We're going to our enemies to ask for gas. Not our enemies in Texas and Alaska, mind you. Isn't this just absolute insanity? They're ramming this Green New Deal bullshit down our throats in this country. You, we used to be energy independent. Now we're dependent on enemies. You can't make this shit up, folks. This foreign policy at this point, it just feels like they're trolling us. So $130 a barrel oil is not bullish, man. And it's just not gas prices, folks. Anything that you buy comes on a truck, an airplane, or a boat, which runs on oil. So... Um, Market's in a lot of trouble here, folks. We're heading lower. Um, at least I have a day trade on that's saying uh, these are tactical trades, right? As I'm talking to you, the S&P just kind of uh, went lower here. But my bull put spread is down at the 42.45 strike. So got a lot of altitude to lose here. Did, you know, uh, when, when the story broke that uh, Ukraine said, hey, they, we might kind of like what the Russians are saying. That's when I put that bull put spread on. So this is just trading, right? And every, remember, with a bull put spread, it's called a credit spread. Every second that I'm talking to you on this brief, I'm making money. How do you do that, Wiz? It's called theta. It's called time decay, right? When you sell something, like car dealerships, folks, don't look like they do because they're charities, right? When you, when you buy that car and you peel out of the parking lot, you immediately lose money. The car depreciates, right? So not when you're the dealer, Theta is time decay. As soon as that car leaves the lot, man, they love time decay, right? So every second that goes by today until this afternoon, I make money on what is called theta, which is called time decay. That's why in a high volatility environment like the VIX, let's go take a look at the VIX. When volatility is expensive, you want to be a seller of volatility, right? And that's what we've been doing. Told you we've been trading the hell out of the VIX, these up days, these down days, these up days. This is like shooting fish in a barrel, man. Love trading the VIX, uh, taking taking these sniper shots. Real quick, January 16th, I'm going to be in Aspen, man. Time for spring break and to get my skiing on. But Bart uh, at Tomcat Charts is airborne. He's going to do a uh, free live trade brief to show you what he's mapped out uh, as to where this market is going. All you need to do to register for free is head to go.topgunoptions.com slash Tomcat, and you can come check out what Bart's doing. Bart's doing a great job uh, posting a bunch of stuff in the uh, uh, Tomcat charts in the Zone 5 um, uh, post here. He just posted this this morning. I'm going to go take a look at this. Great dude, man. Smart guy, mapping all this stuff out. He's, he literally is one of these 500-pound head guys. So go, go make sure you um, do that. Oh, here's the – let me go take a look at this, man. I want to show you these pictures. So this is us at Mar-a-Lago. It's me and my beautiful bride, Susie. That's uh, our beautiful friends, Chris and Kat. That's a fuck Joe Biden purse that they were selling at this place. That's us at the table. That's our friend, Brooke. And there's 45. We, we were right there. I mean, standing right there. Kind of weird. I, I, I don't know, man. Whatever. All right, guys, I got to get going. Have a great rest of your day. Happy hunting. Uh, make sure you hedge. And God bless. Fights on. <laughs>